In this video, I want to introduce the neural cells. And this word neural, or the prefix neuro, just refers to the nervous system, which is one of the most important systems in the body, including the brain and the spinal cord, and all these long stringy nerves that travel out all through the body. And the cells that make up the nervous system are called neural cells. And these cells allow the nervous system to do all the functions that it performs, which are really involved in almost every function of the body, physical as well as mental. Neural cells are divided into two big groups. The first big group of neural cells are called neurons. Neurons. And the other big group of neural cells are called glia. Glia or glial cells or sometimes neuroglia. Many, although not all, of the cells in both groups, the neurons and the glia, often share some similarities in the shape of their cells. Some neural cells are just kind of spheres or blob-like cells, but many others have a main part of the cell, which is called the soma, or the cell body, and then processes, or extensions, that come off the soma, process, or processes, process. And these processes are attached to the soma, but they may have many different shapes and sizes to perform different sorts of functions. Now the function of neurons is to process and transmit information. And neurons may have a lot of different shapes, but one of the most common is to have a soma and multiple short branching processes, which are called dendrites dendrites, these short branching processes, then usually one long process that doesn't branch till it gets to its end when it may branch many times. And this long process is called an axon. So a typical neuron will receive information usually through its dendrites or its soma, sometimes the axon, and that information is changed into electrical changes in the membrane of these structures, the membrane on the outside of the cell. And then electrical changes usually transmit information down the axon to the end of the axon, where the neuron usually contacts its target cell. Let me just draw a couple of target shapes here to represent some cells that might be target cells of a neuron. And there are a number of different cell types that a neuron may contact, but the usual target cells of neurons are muscle cells, gland cells, or other neurons. And these contact points where the neuron is talking to its target cells are called synapses. Synapse. And neurons usually talk to their target cells across the synapse by releasing little molecules into the, the space between the neuron and the target cell. Now in addition to these neurons, the other neural cells are called glia. And you can think of the glia as being cells that support the neurons in a lot of different ways to help them accomplish their function of processing and transmitting information. There are many different types of glial cells. Two types of glial cells help the neurons to transmit information by wrapping part of their membrane around the axon of certain neurons. And their membrane is made up of a special insulating material that helps these electrical changes in the membrane of the neuron to move down the axon. And these two types of cells have a little different shape and they exist in different parts of the nervous system. So one exists in, in one area and one exists in another area. And the one is called a Schwann cell. Schwann cell. And the other is called an oligodendrocyte. Oligo dendrocyte. Another type of glial cell is called an astrocyte. Astrocyte. And it often has a soma with, with many processes, many highly branched processes. And astrocytes do all sorts of different jobs. They provide a lot of the structural support for the tissues of the nervous system. They form scar tissue after injury, and they maintain a lot of the components in the fluid inside the neural tissues. Another type of glial cell is called microglia. Microglia. And these can have a few different shapes. 
uh, in different kind of states that they're in. Sometimes they can have lots of little processes, and then sometimes they can be bigger kind of blob-shaped cells. And microglia kind of specialize in killing germs and abnormal neural cells, and then they're really good at removing debris from the neural tissues. Another type of glial cell are called ependymal cells. Ependymal cells. And ependymal cells form a little sheet, a little layer, and they line certain cavities in areas of the nervous system that contain fluid. All the glial cells also perform a lot of other functions as they interact with each other and with neurons and with other cells of the body.